Let's keep working on the concept of omitted variable bias. We'll do first by looking at the intuition of it and then apply it to our own question. So we have here this model where we regress earnings based on height and education. Now what's the intuition of the omitted variable bias? There's two requirements for it. So one of it is that the variables, right, the variables must be correlated. There is a correlation between the independent variables and the omitted variable is affecting the outcome. So notice what happens over here. In our case, in the beginning, right, we had an omitted variable bias in the first regression when we were just using the effect of height on education because we were missing a variable. That, miss, that missing variable, that omitted variable was education. Why was that the case? Well, the idea is this, since the effect of the height, right, the effect of the height was explained partly by the education since they're correlated, meaning they have to do something with each other. And there is an actual effect of education on the earnings because we saw it in the second regression there is a positive effect of education on earnings meaning that if we do not include we do not include education in our regression so suppose this is not here well then this coefficient beta 1 is too high it is inflated it is upwardly biased because part of the effect includes beta 1 includes partly beta 2 which we're not showing in the regression meaning that this is not accurate aka it's biased. That's the highlight. And what happened in our example? Let's see with actual numbers. Well, we also had a correlation between education and height. This correlation, we could see it in the Stata table. It's given to us. There was a significant positive correlation. And we also saw, based in our regression, right, over here in the output, that the effect of education, the second variable, on the dependent variable of earnings is significant. The p-value was zero. So meaning that, yes, there is an actual effect of this omitted variable, on the outcome, let me just draw it like that, there is an actual effect of education on our outcome and there is also there is also a positive correlation. Positive correlation and a positive effect means there is a positive bias. A, pois a positive bias is telling us that the effect of the independent variable when we do not include the omitted variable is too high, is inflated upwards. So we have here positive bias. Positive bias and I hope I hope the intuition behind the positive bias makes sense why would be inflated because we are not adjusting for the fact that part of the 707 is including the effect of education so 707 is too high that's the intuition of it hope this all makes sense and we are done